ConvergeML. And in this video, we're going to talk about how you can use Google Colab and Kaggle Notebooks in VS Code. So let's get started. Now, you must have heard of Google Colab and Kaggle. Google Colab is a place where you have a notebook environment and you can run, you know, your small workloads of, of Python, you know, Python notebooks um, and even take advantage of GPU or TPU. Similarly, you have Kaggle. Kaggle is a place where you have data science competitions. And when you are competing in those data science competitions, you have notebooks, right? Jupyter notebooks. And essentially, again, in, in that case as well, you have uh, these GPUs, TPUs, or even you know, in normal CPU processes that you can run uh, your data science competition on, depending on the size of the data sets and the complexity of the problem that you're trying to solve. Now, well, all that is good. Now, notebook environments are really wonderful, right? They are really suited for exploratory data analysis, and, and they are sort of built um, to excel in that in that case. Now, once your code becomes really large, uh, you, you would want to probably modularize your code, right? And also make it cleaner and organized. It also gives you a mental um, sort of thought of how do you sort of refactor your code and, and, and modularize your code. Now, all that is good while you're modularizing, but then you also want to make sure that as your sort of project is getting really large, um, you want to use some IDE features which really help you scale um, your project. At the same time, you want your code to be production ready. Now, with all of those things stacked up, you begin to think that probably a notebook is not the environment where you should um, you know, do your data science projects. Now, in that case, what you would want to do is be able to sort of, you know, run, um, take advantage of Google Colab and Kaggle, but maybe in an IDE. Now, VS Code has, has the capability to connect with these two. Now, especially there is a package. And I found this um, website by Amit Chaudhary, and he sort of details as to how you can do that. And here is sort of that, that uh, those, those steps. And what I thought that it would be great to sort of go through those steps and see what the experience is like and, and then share with you guys um, and, and see, you know, if it really works or not. Now, what I found essentially that it definitely works and I've tried it in Google Colab and Kaggle. So I'm going to take you through the, these steps and essentially, you know, see how, how it works, um, you know, in, in a real case. So what I have here is I've got this notebook. Now, again, this notebook is available on, on GitHub. I will, I will give the link and it's very sort of simple, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open this in Colab, right? So it's going to open in Google Colab at this point. And what we have to do is we have to pip install this package. It's called Colab code, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install this right now. So just before that, before I miss, I need to make sure, of course, that I'm connected. And also my runtime is, is a GPU. So I'm going to, although I can use, you know, there are, of course, three options, none basically using, you know, the CPU process, you've got GPU and TPU. I'm going to run this on, on a GPU and have some code, some example code that I'm going to run on GPU. So I'm going to save that and then let's, so that's connected. You can see it's connected. Sorry. Yeah. So what we're going to do next is run this. Okay. Run anyway. Now what this is doing is it's going to go to pip and basically install um, the Colab code package. Now it does its work and everything is great till now. And the next thing is that once that's installed, you want to, um, you know, go to um, uh, Google, you know, import um, Colab code and, and then learn this function. Now, just before you do that, once this pip install is finished, you might be asked to restart your runtime. So I'm going to do that. So it's a restarting, as you can see, it initializes and yeah, it's there. Now, next, I'm going to run 
this piece of code. Now, what it's doing is it's going to create that session for me. And very soon there will be a link that will appear that I can click and it'll take me to VS Code. Now, VS Code that'll sort of open will be in your browser. It's taking advantage of Code Server, which is another sort of a good, uh, a really good extension within VS Code. And so you can see it's, it's just come up and I'm gonna click this and it's gonna open on this window. Well, there's a lot of suspense here. Um, okay, so it's just about there and you can see, oh, great. All right, now I don't like the, you know, it's just too bright. Okay, let me just yeah, activate that. I'm going to come here, settings, and choose a lighter color theme because who doesn't like a dark theme? Anyways, okay, cool. So that's working. The next thing is that we want to write some code and test uh, if this is working, right? Now, the funny thing is if you open this and if you click on open folder, nothing actually happens, which I found really weird, but anyways, We'll close this. We'll go here and we go to file. We say open folder. And this is where we are presented with our root folder, right? I'm going to click OK. And then it's going to refresh and give me this, you know, I'm right now in Google, uh, in Google Colab. Next, what I'll do is I will create this um, dot by file and I'll say um, Google uh, let's say collab test.py, right? So I'm going to, I've just created that file and I've got some code written on another screen, which is just simply a test code. I'm going to paste that right here. It's just using TensorFlow and it's going to essentially run something off CPU and GPU and it's going to tell you, um, you know, essentially what's the, um, what's the gain um, between CPU and GPU, right? So, all right, so I've just um, saved this and next thing is I press Command J and I'll have my terminal open up here. And at this point, what I can do is I'll move this up here. So we know that we are in um, in this directory, right? We have Here we have the Google Colab file that we just set, uh, that we just created. So I'm gonna say Python 3, so I'm going to now execute this file. So I say Google Colab, take the pi away, and I'm going to run that now. All right, so it's running. So everything here is running on Google Colab. Um, and a couple of things to note here while this is running is if I go back to um, you know, this notebook, you can see that you could um, you could give a port number which I've given. Also, you could give a password um, so you can authenticate. And there is another one which is called um, you know if you want to mount your Google um, Drive or not. So uh, there's an argument to mount it, and you can set it to true or false. Um, so you can mount your um, Google Drive as well. Well, this is finished, so you can see that well. GPU speed up over CPU is about 82 times. Um, so it's GPU is just 82 times better than CPU. Great, All right? Next thing what we will do is we're going to now try and go to Kaggle. I have a notebook here. And again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pip install uh, Colab code here. Now, just wanna make sure that I've got GPU. So here you can see I've got GPU and you can essentially go and check this box. Um, three dots, go here, accelerator, and check GPU. And now I'm going to run this, and it's essentially going through um, you know, the installation of, co Google, um, of Colab code. Now, all this call Colab code essentially works with Kaggle as well. So maybe not, a, not the best name, but yeah, it still works, which is what we want. The other thing that you uh, that we want to point out that while I have this VS Code sort of running, which is using in, in Google, right, Google Colab right now, you can see that this notebook continues to run. So this notebook is going to continue to run 
and till the time this is this continues to run um, the server is going to continue to run so yeah just just be aware of that um, going back to Kaggle we can see that the installation is finished next what we're going to do is we're going to run um, you know um, collab code import that and just run that and it's running off one two three four port um, and this uh, is essentially telling us what's really happening, right? It's installing a lot of extensions, um, VS Code extensions, it's doing all of that. It uses NGORK um, tunneling to sort of do this magic, essentially. And um, it's finished at this point because I've got this link. I'm gonna open, click and open it. Now, what's happening at this point is here I've got Kaggle, VS Code that's just about to open. And on this side, I have my Google Colab. So yeah, so I've got like Kaggle and Google Colab running at the same time. Now what I can do is, all right, um, is go to, um, once again, go to settings. Um, I'm gonna change my color theme. So it's dark, great. And once again, I have this, yeah, I have this issue that the folder doesn't open, anyways. We'll move to file, open folder, and go right here. It's gonna refresh, and we will we'll be in the Kaggle interface, which is brilliant. Again, what we will do here is we will, uh, once again, try to sort of run this, right? So we, this time we'll say this, Kaggle, um, I don't know, VS Code test.py. Right, so I've just created that file. I'm going to let me see if it's in my the, the my clipboard. Yeah, my clipboard still has that code. Cool. So I'm gonna save this now and Command J. I'm using the uh, Mac, so I've got Command J as um, you know the shortcut to open the terminal. So all right, so I'm gonna click terminal here. All right, so all that bash. All right, I'm not sure what happened, what just happened here. Um, let me cancel this out. All right, um, go to terminal once again. Hmm, interesting. So at this point, this isn't working. So I'm gonna sh tabs. So let's see if I can make it work. Is it because Okay, let's say I say install. Um, okay, use pip. Uh, right, so it is installing, but I can't see, hmm, which is strange. So what I'll do is, uh, um, let me change this to, yeah, let me change this to, so we can. I'm going to cancel this well let's select this all right so it looks like at this point there's a bit of a glitch um, that I'm not able to see my this is happening in, in the Kaggle one right now right so what I'll do is I'm gonna refresh this okay it's refreshing and let's see if that fixes the problem that I have here. So, all right, good. So yeah, once I refreshed, it's back up. Um, was That was pretty weird, right? Anyways, sorry for that. Um, so next what we'll do is, um, yeah, once again, let's just take a look if you are all the files that are here. So yeah, here is the Kaggle file. And again, once again, I'll, I'll try to run this file, and this file is called Kaggle. So, Kaggle takeaway.py, yeah. And I'm gonna run that now. And you can see that it is running. And yeah, all right, all's well. And so what I have is Google Colab. At the same time, I've got Kaggle Notebook. And we should see, all right, oh, nine, nine times, right? Um, all right, cool. So you saw that 
in both the places, Google Colab and Kaggle Notebooks, we were able to work on, on off this um, Colab code uh, package. Again, remember that at this point, I can't close my, um, you know, my, my Google Colab because once this session terminates, your VS Code will essentially becomes, you know, will, will, will not work. It will start reconnecting and of course, we'll have nothing to reconnect to. Um, lastly, that I would probably leave you with is you you might once you have like if you've had some issues or something and and um, you know when once you're trying to connect and connect and connect sometimes you might see this sort of come up where it says too many connections. Um, what I would suggest is at that point in time is just um, uh, you know just just wait a bit and refresh your browser and then after a minute or two go back again. Uh, this is this is because it's using the ngork um uh, you know package which is which is sort of free for for several api sort of calls and 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 then it essentially you know it, it's it's a paid um it's a paid version that you need to get to um but anyways we won't get into that um at this point i'm i'm really happy to see that my code is working in collab and in kaggle and and that i'm able to move from a jupiter sort of um, notebook interface to an ID interface, which is really, really exciting. Now, if you are new on this channel, I would request you to please, um, if you found this useful, please like and subscribe on the channel, um, to the channel, and I will keep on posting more content like this. Um, going again, I will have a several videos on machine learning coming up that I've planned for. So, um, yeah, so if if you if you liked it, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care.